again to uh, sort of uh, vlog on a daily basis but there's been a bit of a break uh, in the vlogging schedule so because uh, I'm obviously not in the average place I'm now up at Mars Alpha uh, this is my new trailer uh, up at uh, uh, the village of Prophet Elias so uh, I will show you later on in the uh, later on in the clip uh, no <laughs> later on in the on in the vlog that the uh, uh, well, it looks like outside because right now it's dark. Um, but it did take me a couple days to sort of get uh, organized. So I got here on Monday, uh, just around. Oh, I think it was just around uh, eleven between eleven and noon. I got here around eleven and noon. Uh, I spent most of the day and night trying to sort of fix things up in the trailer. Got the heat wrong, and that's kind of what caused the delay. Because uh, I spent most of Tuesday trying to resolve the problem with the heat. Uh, it was uh, yesterday. Uh, I finally got things fixed up. So tonight, much better. Uh, it's warmer in here, so uh, it didn't get as cold as it did last night in here. It went down. It got very cold last night, but still, nonetheless, it is cold outside. And uh, uh, I'll give you a current temperature reading outside. Uh, let's see. Here it is, uh, just about 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so it is cold. Uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. Uh, it is 5 hours and uh, 28 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 12th, 2016. So this is, we're beginning our vlog at about six, uh, about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm not up yet fully, I'm, uh, I'm just up for a bit, I have something to eat. Uh, my times have been sort of been sli uh, sort of flipping over because basically, uh, the way it ended up working out, I didn't get much sleep between Saturday and Monday. So basically, I was up Saturday night packing, doing the the, the final work work on the, in, the, in my place, including the, uh, the oil research pro project, doing the observation for that packing. For up here because I'm still moving in so I had to bring another load of stuff to move in here uh, I have internet here now I have a, uh, a Rogers uh, uh, what's it called uh, the Rogers flex package uh, so far we'll see what ends up happening with this sort of test to sort of see it's all right it's good uh, it gives me about five megabit per mega five megabits per second down and one megabits per second to two megabits per, uh, per second up so it's a good packet, uh, considering that I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, uh, that uh, the speed is uh, sufficient that uh, I'm not too uh, uh, too disappointed with. I mean, in the city, right, in my place, I got uh, 10, 10 down and 5 up. I mean, I got, uh, yeah, 10, uh, I got 30 down and 5 up here uh, uh, on the edges of things. I have uh, significantly less. So basically, I'm getting about. Uh, is it the, uh, I'm getting five or six down, and one meg one to new two megabytes per second up. So, uh, is that's the speed test that it's worked at. I said so the cold makes your nose a little runny, so <laughs> that's the way it is. Um, what else did I do today? Well, that's over the last few the last few days, anyways. It's, it, uh, been a bit of a blur. So did that work on Saturday night. Uh, also fixed up some chicken that I brought. Make some chicken here. Some uh, sort of like, sort of like a hot a version, a modified version of hot wings. Rather than using the chicken wings, I used uh, uh, chicken legs with with the backs attached, the, the thighs. 
and so I have my own meat cleaver. Cut them, in, cut them, uh, cut the pieces, cut them into pieces. So it gave uh, three pieces of chicken, uh, three pieces with, with the legs back attached. It gives you six pieces, uh, and I brought one of those packages up and cut it in half. So I got six pieces of chicken. Uh, did it in the deep fryer here. I have a deep fryer, and then put a, a sriracha sauce uh, over it. And uh, tomorrow I'll finish it in the microwave. Uh, about uh, took about five minutes in the microwave. I got a nice ceramic bowl that allows me to, to do good baking uh, in the microwave for with uh, very little heat, very little time. So uh, I'm happy with that. So it's just that the, the Italians take get used to things uh, up here and the catching up in your sleep. So I said Sunday night. Uh, I ended up going to a wedding. So I was up at sun, seven o'clock in the morning on Sunday. And then I went out by eight. Even though I went to bed on Sunday, Sunday I went to bed Sunday around. Uh, uh, so it was Saturday night up all day. Stayed up till about four, three, four o'clock in the morning. Got up less than four hours later, seven, uh, to go to church. Didn't finish with the church and the wedding until ooh about eleven o'clock at night. Uh, did some fixing up, went to bed around uh, 11 o'clock. Then less than four hours later at 3 o'clock, got up and started finished the, finishing packing. I finished the packing that I needed to get done. So that was out of the house, uh, out of my office, out of, out of my main facilities uh, by 7 o'clock in the morning so I can get to my ride. Uh, and then I came up here. Uh, we left uh, Toronto around 8 o'clock in the morning, got here just between about 11 o'clock and the, in 11. Worked on the trailer, was supposed to go to bed a little early, but what ended up happening was uh, the heat didn't work properly, so I didn't get, I got maybe made less than three hours worth of sleep before I had to get up and move around because I got too cold to sleep. And that's what I did. Uh, did some work here. Uh, fixed up the network, made sure that all, everything was working on the network, did some uh, tests on the network, made some full calls out so I had to see whether or not I can actually call out. And everything's, everything's working fine here. So I have a good connection to the internet. So I'm happy with that. But that, that meant that I was uh, up by 3 o'clock, by 3 o'clock in the morning, I was up and working again. And I didn't end up uh, sort of knocking out and correcting the heat problem till about uh, ooh, four or five o'clock this afternoon uh, uh, yes yeah, 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 four, four or five o'clock four or five o'clock in the evening p.m. on Tuesday that was yet that was yesterday and uh, so yeah I got up uh, about three o'clock to have something to eat uh, to uh, a little bit of a snack sort of a midnight snack and now I'm gonna go back to bed again so that's kind of it brings you up to speed here and hopefully this time we'll not won't lose the uh, chip and we'll have you'll see you'll see up here on Mars Alpha so this will be a Mars Alpha vlog so uh, I gotta sort of check when I get up to see what's happened with some of the videos I'm supposed to be putting out this week even though I'm up here uh, I, I have got one that has to go out. I don't can't remember when that I put it up and uploaded it to YouTube. So I have to check that from here. And if it does, if it did upload properly to YouTube, then I can uh, uh, sort of uh, start pushing it out. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna leave that here for now, and I'm gonna go uh, back to bed. And I will see you when I get up uh, in the uh, next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory Rails BTS vlog. All right, so I'll see you in uh, a couple hours at six. But it's about five thirty in the morning now. Yeah, five thirty-five. So it's been about it's been about five to seven minutes. So that's good. So I'll see you in a couple hours, probably another four hours of sleep, and then I'll get up and uh, I'll see you then, and we'll continue on with our uh, daily vlogging. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Oh, hello, everybody. Let me see if I get this right. <laughs> Welcome back to the next segment of uh, Big... 
Big Bang Theory, uh, Big Bang Theory RL's uh, BTS vlog, yep. It is uh, just about uh, 9 hours and 24 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 12th, 2016. Uh, I just last talked to you guys about a couple hours ago. Uh, probably around, I think it was 5.30, it's about 4 hours later. Uh, I just finished doing some work. Um, the, uh, the Oceanographic and uh, Atmospheric uh, Research Institute's, uh, uh, Atmospheric Physics Project, sort of adding this place, uh, to, uh, one Google Maps and then two adding it to the project. Uh, I needed to sort of figure out where I was in relationship to, uh, the place in, uh, Markham, which is a little north of Toronto. Um, so that... I can gauge uh, where what clouds are over me in relationship to the satellites that come over the, the, to the sort of the images that come over my area. So I'll look up at the sky, I'll look at the clouds, see uh, what's sort of popping up. And there were clouds earlier in the morning. There's still clouds on the horizon. Now it seems to be clearing more. And that's what I saw. Is uh, I looked, pulled up an image of the Great Lakes uh, after looking at the continental image. Oh, and saw that the clouds that were sort of popping up here were local clouds. There's a larger system uh, coming in. Basically, there's one coming in from uh, the west. Uh, it's the gen that's the general way to put it because the, there's two contributing factors to it. There's a northwest up near the Alaska and a southwest uh, influence coming from uh, Mexico and off the co coast of uh, Baja, California. Or Baja, Mexico. However, you want to sort of split that that hair there. Um, and those the oh, the next influence that's coming in that's coming in from the southeast actually is uh, Hurricane Nicole's coming in. That's where so you see it sort of pushing up against the uh, the coastline. It looks like. It, Actually, it looks like it's heading for the Carolinas again, so that that's sort of the central point. But the northern tip will be uh, close to Cape Cod, and the southern tip will be now Florida. <laughs> so uh, there's another hurricane to go, so it's coming in. It looks like uh, the East Coast is going to be the target now for uh, this hur this year's hurricane season. Uh, so. But this is it. This is not a, not an old pattern. This is actually a new pattern as compared to what we saw last year. Uh, the there is a slight difference in direction. There's a slight difference in, in, in sort of uh, how the storms are tracking. Oh. The thing is, I'm, I'm not using uh, predictions. I don't use models. What I do is I use uh, actual satellite data, that satellite information and track it in real time and use the sort of the collection of data to sort of give me an idea of what might be going on what the influences may be and you know uh, i said well, what has to happen next is that i have to i said i'm, I'm, I'm expanding uh the points where i'm at doing the examination so this is my second point of examination from below and above at the same time uh and then between these two different points between the uh uh, Toronto point and this point here, uh, I should be able to develop a good understanding to then go out on the computer and develop uh, points from uh, above and below uh, for other areas as well and sort of get a better uh, 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 field of view in terms of how I'm viewing the uh, atmospheric physics from above and below. And that's the sort of thing. It's, a sort of, it's correlating local data with the satellite data. And that's sort of the the, the uh, direction that this sort of general uh, survey right now is taking. Uh, and it's going to take a while before these things get a little, a little bit more uh, uh, solved because I have to get a year's worth of data, right? Well, four seasons worth of data uh, under the first uh, observational uh, first year, right? That's the first year of review. Uh, the sort of, or the first cycle, right? The one full cycle is an entire year. That's uh, 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 it's basically uh, spring, fall, sp spring, summer, fall, and winter. So I have to have that whole year in there 
in order to say, okay, oh, yeah, I've done a year's worth of work here. Here's the first cycle. Now, what happens in the next cycle, the second year, right? Uh, and then I can compare the, those two. And if you want to do at least three years worth of data to, in terms of comparison, right, three cycles worth of data, then you, you need at least three years to begin to understand. But ultimately, yeah, it's, it's, it's three years, five years, and then ten years down the road are, ty very, are, are typically the points you're aiming for. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. Uh, this we're sort of so in the progress of 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 of, of uh, developing. So that's you know this, this is the way it is. This is this is the this is the nature of science. This is the nature of research. And this is my office now. This is my second office. And so the way it is is that I sleep for a bit because uh, I'm still uh, a little bit tired from uh, the weekend. The weekend's all nighter, which is basically. Uh, uh, Saturday to Monday was uh, uh, basically uh, no sleep, uh, really. Basically, I had uh, three hours uh, each night, basically. So, a total of six hours between three days. So, uh, <laughs> needless to say, uh, my body's still worn out. It's, 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 it's going to take me a while, a couple, about a day, to sort of recover from this. But work must progress. And so, that's what it is. Every time I get up to have something to eat, I do a bit of work. And... And then I go back to bed again. <laughs> so uh, that's my that's my recovery. That's the way I recover. Uh, so I think I'm gonna leave this here for now, and possibly in a bit we'll be going for a walk, and I'll show you around uh, uh, where I am. It's out in the wilderness. There is a little village here. I'm, on, I'm in the village of Prophet Elias. So uh, tiny little village inside inside a Co Hill. Uh, Co Hill is the major town. So. Uh, <laughs> That's where we are. We're listed as part of Coe Hill. So, uh, I am going to leave this here for now, and I will see you in a few hours, probably maybe five, six hours. Uh, and you know, we'll go outside, take a walk around, and uh, go from there. All right. I'll see you then. All right. Well, now is as good a time as any to vlog. Um, do a time and date stamp. It is 20 hours and 30 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 12th, 2016. Yeah, I'm vlogging now because this is going to be the uh, uh, last segment for today's vlog. I said we're trying to do a vlog again on a daily basis. That means, uh, well, when the day comes to an end, and that means you're going to bed in a bit a little bit. And I am going to be going to bed in a little bit. Even though, uh, yeah, I'll probably be getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning again. Uh, you vlog. And this is how things go. And so, uh, I tried to vlog more today, but it, was, it, it just ended up getting too busy. Uh, I went uh, shopping uh, to get uh, some of the stuff I needed for the septic tank. Uh, I still have to do some work on the uh, water system, on the plumbing and everything. So that has to be done. Uh, the propane system seems to be all right. I got the, another tank filled, so I got two tanks on the system uh, uh, that are that's going pretty well. So uh, the trailer work has, has been more or less done. Uh, I tested out the uh, internet system up here, the Wi-Fi and um, the 4G that I installed, and it's working pretty well. I'm happy with what it is. What, 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 with the speed and what I can accomplish with it in terms of uh, publishing and getting all the extra work done. Uh, is it, it? We're in a small little Greek village, the, and uh, that means uh, when everybody else is up here, all the, uh, the the older Greeks are up here. You sit together and eat as a village, and I did that for lunch. We had uh, lunch together. It was a nice, interesting meal. They have something called soup yes, which is basically, uh, it's, it's 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 not uh, what most people think. It's it's uh, in terms of being one recipe or another. Like most of these type of recipes, they they from region to region they vary. And so this one was good enough that uh, and loose enough that you could use it as spaghetti sauce. So you would have spaghetti, you would put the soup yes over it, and it contains cuttlefish, 
or squid or or, or some that's that along those lines of uh, seafood so it is a very good uh, uh, sort of addition to a meal so they had that they had uh, uh, the the greens the uh, called the horta bread salad and uh, Greek potatoes. They call them fries, but it's actually Greek potatoes. Mm. Basically, the way it works is uh, in uh, in olive oil with uh, lemon and uh, oregano. They uh, bake the potatoes or fry them until they get turn a sort of. Uh, a yellowish golden color like almost like 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 being fried but they're in, being fried not in deep oil but being fried in the pan uh, in an oven so and when it's happening they there's a crispy coating on the outside uh, warm and, and 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 soft on the inside and they have a nice flavor of lemon uh oregano oil and uh I think garlic and this gives you a good uh, uh, flavor for the potatoes. And so I had that for lunch as well. So it is. It's 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 a good environment here. R really enjoy it. Uh, got a good amount of work done today in terms of uh, setting the direction that Mars Alpha and the or the uh, atmospheric research project is going to go in. So I did get that organized. I got it more or less set up so that. When I could come up here, I I know I got sort of got, I got the GPS fix. I set it up so that uh, I can sort of see where I am in comparison to uh, the GPS, the map location in Toronto. So I have two um, uh, points to compare to. It's it it, it now it, it adds a no, another dimension to the atmospheric research project, the atmospheric physics project. Uh, that, di that I didn't have before, so it gives me a way to expand and but it the work on setting up the trailer is tiring uh, my eyes are kind of fall starting to forcibly shut and that means uh, I'm not going to be staying up too, for too much longer, I'll probably end up going to bed and getting some sleep, so uh, I'm going to leave that here for now and uh, probably see you again for the uh, next uh, uh, episode of the BTS vlog. That will be uh, probably tonight around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'll probably be here again and we'll have a, a bit of a discussion and uh, uh, go from there. Oh, sorry about the late <laughs> I'm just tired. All right, I'll see you then. Democratic Earth. Earth.